Hello, my cheeky darlings. Happy Wednesday to all of you and welcome to Let's Build the World. <laughs> stunning. Absolutely bloody stunning that was. Hello. Part seven, we are continuing on with interiors today. You beautiful lot gave me so many ideas for the kitchen, which I'm going to, I'm going to flop them in. I'm going to flop them in. So we'll finish the kitchen off and then we'll probably get up and furnish one of the bedrooms. I can't imagine we're going to get two done today. But I want this, I want this series to kind of get to maybe, or this build to get to maybe like 10 parts. So obviously we've got another two coming this week, plus Design Me Devon. And then we'll probably have a final one next week where we'll just finish it all off together. Maybe Caspian's room needs its own moment, you know? That's what we're going to do. Um, but yes, I don't need to say anything more. Blue is in the background once again. Let's get building. All right, then, my cheeky little queefs. Here we are. We are back. I know a few of you enjoyed it when I called you cheeky queefs last time. So I'm going to do it for you again. Now, I had so many lovely ideas from you guys. Um, one of you said, why don't you do like a dog state or a pet station where we could like just make it look like this is where they come and make the dogs and cats food. Shark and squid. Really like that idea. And I think maybe through this little walkway here, I might put a couple of like their beds in because as we all know, pets like to congregate around a kitchen, especially where the food is. And I reckon they're in here all the time checking out what's being made and I mean, I'm in for that idea. Now, I was thinking, maybe we could just shorten this down a little bit. Excuse you. What's going on here? Um. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> what did I just do? I only meant to get rid of that one. Why did that go weird? Uh, I think... Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we are. <laughs> no idea what was going on there. Now, Faultsware. Just reducing the size of this slightly. It still gives it a nice bit. Oh, that looks lovely, Aiden. That looks really great. You did a great job, job there. What, what, what's going on? Get rid of you. Who gave you the goddamn right? And what? What is now going on with that? I hate counters. I hate them. I absolutely je detest the counters in The Sims 4. I do. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of one of these now. Now we've got a bigger bit of space here. And that's kind of like centralized into this. I'm for it. Um, a few of you guys said, why don't you use the kind of like wash tubs and stuff? This, we're not in kind of like old, old day times with this castle. I want this castle to kind of reflect on the fact that it's kind of moved with the times a little bit. Yes, they are in a cult. That's not a cult. Um, but I think they won't have enough time to do all that. They're trying to reach this kind of fesh enlightenment and they don't have time to wash their scabby pants in in the sink and that is the storyline and that is what we're sticking to thank you thank you for listening um i'm i don't really like them there anymore can we like hang them here or would that look strange um maybe we need a different light in this part instead we need a, probably a different light in this part. So, anyway, let's let's get on, shall we? Let's get on. So, I want, like, a food station. Do I want to use counters over here? Probably. Let me just see what the... Oh, yeah, that's going to be ample amount of room. Ample, darlings. Absolutely ample. Um, Hello, how are you? How are you doing today? I hope you are all very well. All very well. We're in. We're, we're here. We're queer. We just You just got to get used to it, you know? And that is the that is the vibe of today. I'm in a bit of a weird mood as well, so you'll have to excuse me. <laughs> in a bit of very strange mood today. I mean, when am I not in a strange mood, to be honest? I'm just strange. And strange is the best, you know? I'm going to put a bin down there. That is the perfect spot for a cheeky bin. But that is what we're going to do. Oh, what's in here? Oh, the sink. Wow. Slap me on the tits. Uh, yeah, I am going to put you there. I love the way I'm talking to it as if like it's just asked me where it's going. <laughs> Where am I going? Sink, you're going there, darling. You're absolutely going there. <laughs> uh, I feel semi a little bit switched on today. COVID has been like, I haven't realised how much of a brain fog I've had since having COVID. I'm still living through it, loves. I'm still going through it. 
So again, you're just going to have to bear with. Bear with while, my, while I start to, I don't know, replicate my brain cells that have all been gone. Um, is that the right word to use? <laughs> Probably not, but we're just going to go with it anyway. I think I'm going to do that above it like that. Yes, that's cute. That's cute. If you said, why don't you do like a coffee making station? Nope. No coffee. Tea, though, maybe. I'll give them a tea set. I'll put a tea set in here. That would be nice. Um, Cats and dogs. Decorations. Let's pull out some bits and bobs. I also need to find some beds and stuff here. And I think we're going to do like a nice um, kind of like pan wall there with um, some more of the... I mean, why can't... What's stopping me from putting this over here as well? Like where the pans are going to be. Nah, I don't like that. I like it above there. Anyway, give me two secs. Let's pull out some goodies. Okay, so this is what I've done. A few treats out here. Beautiful. Um, dog and cat food down there. Now, I've separated the dog and cat bowls. I know I've done four, but it's just always weirded me out with cats and dogs why they didn't, like, have a water bowl. Like, they do need to drink water as well. Um, so I've just separated them. I reckon squid gets a bit angsty with shark. I reckon shark's a little bit scared of squid as well. Um, so they separate them to eat their food. And I've also put in a cat tower here. Now, can cats, can they sleep on this part here? I'm sure they can. That's why I got it out. So I flopped you there and then I flopped a little, um, sleeping place for shark there too. And then instead of putting the pans over there, I've just put them underneath of the oven itself. And I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of happy with how that kitchen looks. I think it will. It's As I said with this place, I don't want it to be too cluttered. This place needs to be very tidy, kept together. Uh, I've also got rid of one of the fridges because one of you guys said, why don't you have, like, I reckon these guys would be very big into canning. And I completely agree on that. Now, can we, can you put canning on shelves or does it have to go in a fridge? This we will find out together. So I'm probably not going to stock those shelves. I'm just going to leave them empty until I've done some canning. And then I'll put some actual cannings. Cannings? No. Um, <laughs> I'll put some actual cans up on these shelves. Just so it looks like they're stockpiling. Because I reckon, and one of you guys said this as well. They're very doomsday. They're very doomsday. So I reckon they prepare for everything. The end of the world. The great flood, somebody, somebody said. That comes once again and turns everyone into this world back into their rightful places as fish. So that is what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're going to do. And I think this is going to work out quite well. Um, but yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Now with all of this area here, like all of these corridors and stuff, I am going to be putting some stuff in them. But they are, the majority of them will stay empty. Uh, I'm going to put a little seating area in here, I think. Oh, let's do that now. You know, we may, we may as well. We're here. We're here, we may as well do it. Do we have, or where rather, is that stone version? The stone version of that like bay window chair. Probably slapping me right in the face here, but I can't see it. But let me find it. Found her. Now, can I squeeze two in here? Probably gonna have to push it into the wall slightly. Um, I mean, what was it? Can I just get rid of those flowers? Or would that go on the outside now and look a bit strong? Yeah, it's looks strange. Why am I saying strange like that? Stop it. Just strange, Aiden. Yeah, that just looks strange. Full stop. I think we should just stick it here, to be honest. Weird shape. Very weird shape. Doesn't work. Doesn't work, but I think we're just going to use it anyway. Just to fill up that space a little bit. I mean, what would you come in here for? Bit of reflecting, you know? Bit of thinking about why the hell did I leave my family to join this cult? That is not a cult. Thank you. Um, this is going to be a bathroom here. So we're going to get up and start furnishing one of the bedrooms we are. Now, thought process has changed. I was looking at this. I was like, well, we've got five Sims we need to fit in two bedrooms. So I was like, do we need two bedrooms? They're in a cult. That's not a cult. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to put them all in one bedroom. So I've made this room bigger because we also need a crafting room. And I was like, oh, damn, we need to go down to the basement still. And then I started thinking, this build is not going to be done in 10 parts because we've still got to do that basement as well. <laughs> so there was lots of thought processes going through my head then. So what I'm going to, uh, what I've decided to do is have, this is a big bedroom, crafting room. Um, and we're going to use bunk beds, I think, as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and find a good bunk bed for these guys 
Uh, it needs to just be plain, but the only thing with these bunk beds, they all look kind of modern, you know? Like, uh, these ones here would probably be okay, because they almost look a bit more... It's just the bedding on it that I can't deal with. No, it's not that I can't deal with. It just looks a little bit too, well, as I said, modern. Uh, I could, like, black just doesn't fit in this room. So I think we're going to have to go for the green bedding. This one. I think that's what we're going to have to do, my sweet arts. Um, and I need to think about an orientation where this would look semi-okay. I think. I'm going to do them out by the window. So I'm going to put them into these like little in coves and have them by the window. Um, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Another one there and then another one up there. Yes, there's going to be an empty bed, but it's just what's going to happen, darlings. It really is. So what we're going to do is try and find these beds. I always struggle at finding the single beds to the matching bunk beds. Does anybody else? I always do. There we go. That took ages. I struggled then. Really, really. Really did. Really, really struggled. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's crack on. So, oh, do you know what, though? I hate the fact that it's covering the windows. You know? I hate the fact that the bed's covering the windows. I would have much preferred it if it was like that. I think I'm going to do that instead. And I could maybe... I mean, I could cover this window. This one doesn't matter. Because we've got two open windows then. And then all the beds are kind of facing in the same direction. Is that what I want? I don't know what I want. I really don't. I'm a fussy ass when it comes to building. Can I get rid of that window? <laughs> no. We're not getting rid of, rid of windows, Aiden, for the sake of beds. But I think that orientation might be okay. Yeah, I think it might be okay. Anyway, let's crack on and put these beds down here as well. So there we go. And there as well. We've got the beds in place. I am going to manoeuvre them now, though, so they're more in line with the corners. Stunning. Uh, you can probably stay where you are, to be honest. I'm unsure if I'm feeling the bed there. Oh, once I get into this level, it's okay, actually. Yeah. Then they're near the fire. Yes. That is the vibe. That is the vibe today. Uh, and we need an area where they can get dressed into their um cult gowns that are not cult gowns so this is probably going to work out quite well here i wouldn't imagine any kind of study nook i reckon this room is mainly to um mainly to just get ready in oh but the the thought process as well i had this as like the communal bathroom but i was wondering i've got enough space here to even put a bathroom in now so i might even do that as well Yep, we're going to do that. We're going to have this as kind of like the dressing area. Nothing too fancy. Just a couple, a wardrobe maybe, or a couple of wardrobes with a mirror. And then this is going to be their kind of like shared bathroom. So we've got a nice big space here as well to utilize that for something, which I'm sure we will come up for an I come up with an idea for. Um, yeah, for it. Let's crack on. Curtains, I think we're going to struggle just because I don't want anything to look too modern in here. He says with those bedspreads, but you know, Sims, what more can we do? Maybe like using like a bamboo um, blind would look okay. Yeah, do you know what? Very nice. Think of convent, loves. Think of convent. This is how much detail I'm trying to put into this place with it still looking kind of semi-attractive, but just making use of what this space needs to be for these cult members that are not in a cult. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, how many times am I going to be saying that? Tell you how many times. Loads. Loads. So wardrobe wise, it would probably be, need to be something kind of... Um, I don't really want to do a fancy one though. I don't really want it to look fancy. I want it to look kind of just semi... Oh, do you know what? That would be actually perfect. I mean, I always go, go, go to this wardrobe. Um... It's really came in handy, this wardrobe. So we'll do two of them. It's probably going to be a bit of a struggle to squeeze a mirror in here. But we could do a wall one there. Sorry, I just had a bit of an itchy nose then. Uh, so if I can flop two of them there. This is where they keep their culty gowns that are not culty gowns. And um, a collective, somebody said in the comments as well. They are a collective. <laughs> I like that. 
I like that vibe. We're going to go for that. They're a collective, collective um, people of the way of the fash. And I'm for it. I really am. Yes, very nice. And again, I don't want to like belonging things look looking like they've got belongings, you know, but so I think this is going to be a bit of a, um, I don't know, hard way to put detail in here, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, we're going to put, did I put that blind behind there? I did. I did, but we need to move the bed, do we? Mm, no, I think that might be okay. But we are going to put one of these in the actual bathroom area now as well. So bathroom, not going to do any showers. Just going to do baths. They have baths by cold water as well. Freezing cold water. Even in the winter, they've got to have cold baths. It's just what Caspian prefers. He says it gets their juices flowing. And that is what he wants for them. He wants all of their juices. Stop it. Please stop it, Aiden. For goodness sake. You always have to lower the, lower the tone. Oh. <laughs> and a little toilet in here as well. So this one here. We'll come back to the bathroom. I'm not fussed. I just wanted to make sure that it's going to have a nice bit of space now. I need to pull out some decorative objects that are not going to decorate this place too much. Good luck for me. So, I've storylines, loves. Absolute storylines. I don't think you're ready for this. Now, <laughs> now, what I've done. Pulled out these, dra these drawers. Maybe these can house their undergarments. Um, but I've also made it a bit of a shrine. So I reckon every evening before bed, they come and they have to kneel. They have to worship the way of the fish. Light some incense. Toot into this. Don't, not fart. Not fart. Don't, they don't need to fart into a shell. They need to blow into a shell three times. The ordinary shell, ordinary conch shell. They need to blow into it three times to set their spirits free to the way of the fish. That is the storyline. And now I've also put up some happenings. I've put them all up around the castle. Um, all, they are in every room apart from the bathrooms. Um, Caspian says it's for security um, reasons. He's had his castle, his um, ancestral castle robbed once before and he does not want it to happen again. So there is CCTV all the way through this castle. Now, that is not the reasons why. We are going to be doing a little office in Caspian's quarters. Um, so he can keep an eye on everybody. Because that's what he does. He's a dirty bitch. And he likes to watch people. Um, and just make sure they are following the way of the fish. I've put one right up against the mirror here as well. Now, the mirror is going to be the only mirror in the whole castle. Is the ones in the dressing rooms. One of you guys said this. And I thought that was a really cool idea. And then I reckon in this room we're going to have lots of mirrors because Caspian likes to look at himself um, doing all sorts of things. Wink to the wink wonk. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but I thought that was... I think, I think that's just cool. It's just added to the storyline. There's not much detail, but as I said, I still want it to look quite stark. Not prison-like. It's still I still want it to feel like a home. I still want it to look kind of semi-attractive. But that's the kind of vibe that we're going for today. So I think to end it on today, we're going to make a start on the crafting room. We'll make a start on the crafting room. I may bring those blinds up into here, actually, but not in the green. I keep looking at those green blinds downstairs, and I wish that we stayed with the blue instead. I mean, blue is a bit more fitting, considering they are, um, you know, fish, and they do like the water. So I'm thinking about actually bringing that blue back down instead of those. Yeah, it just sells in a lot better down there. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Still haven't got that um, portrait. And thank you to so many of you guys that said about that base game one. I did not even know that was in the game. Did not even know. So I need to bring out all kinds of crafty goodness into this room. Um, so give me two seconds and we'll start placing it around together. So let's do this. Now, I want a couple of easels here. This is where a lot of their money earning comes from. Um... A few of them are quite good artists and they sell their work. Painted pictures throughout the land, painted by reference. Um, because people are very keen on knowing what, what goes on in this private land. I'm kind of here for that. So I'm going to do that. I do want to get these stack of canvases in, but I'm just wondering if it's going to be a bit of a squeeze. Oh, actually, I think we can get them in there quite nicely. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Little woodworking table. Thinking about adding a little woodworking table over this side here. 
Uh, I do want a couple of rocking chairs and I do want a couple of musical instruments as well for when they all get their tits out around the campfire and sing Come By Our My Lord, you know? So I think that's what we're going to have to do. <laughs> I mean, I would love to get my tits out around a campfire and sing Come By Our My Lord. But, um, <laughs> why am I like this? Why am I this way? Why am I? <laughs> no idea. But that just see that just that just funny to me. That song was funny to me when I was a kid. I don't know why. Come by armor lord. Never ever got it. And I always remember thinking in my head, what the hell does that mean? Why do we need this? You know? You can absolutely come bar off with your come bar, my lord. Ah, <laughs> oh, rocking chairs? Rocking chairs or something. A couple of rocking chairs. Couple of cheeky rocking chairs. To do some cross stitching and um some knitting as well so let me I, I hate the fact that you've got to put these in your inventory as well before you can use them doesn't make sense i wish they could just like go into it get out what they want and then sit down to do some knitting i think that would be so much better and i think we'll fill this place up with a bit of art from their collections in here but that i think would be a perfect little crafting room um, again, I don't want to add too much detail in. I'm trying to like not put so much detail in it. It's killing me. It really is. But it's all part of the cult. Sorry, collective. Um, but yes, um, I think we're done for today. We've got the bedroom and the f bedroom and a small little crafting room done. And also we finished off that kitchen as well, which I might stick in the thumbnail because I think this might look nice. Seeing them all cooked together in the thumbnail. I think we'll do that. So as I said downstairs, we've got loads of things to add down here. A laboratory. I really want to do a juice fizzing room as well, where they make all of their juices and whatnot. And I really want to do this magical pool of the way of the flesh down here too. And also there's going to be a little secret moment down here that I'm not going to let on till, um, well, until the save files ended, to be honest, love. So that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I will be back with this tomorrow. We are going to be going up into Caspian's quarters. We're going to be going up into Caspian's quarters and getting his um, room and shrine to himself, really, done. I need to make sure to remember to lock this door. Nobody. He has always got the key, I reckon, maybe around his neck on a necklace. That's his bedroom door key. Um, so they never know. They've never been in this room. None of them. They don't know what goes on. So we can fill that room with as much weird stuff as possible. But that's what we're going to do. That is what we are going to do. So there we have it, my darlings. Part 7 of Brindleton Isle Castle is complete. I will be back again with this tomorrow. Um, doing exactly what we just said we were going to be doing. Yes. Now I'm going to be live on Twitch tonight as well. We are renovating an old build that I did for my legacy save well, my legacy save. So if you want to come along and join me, you can. 7pm GMT. But if not, I'll see all you lovely buggers tomorrow. Goodbye.